it's Magical Monday. And if you saw my post, I gave you a little bit of a hint about what our theme is for today. And it is about uh, take tea and see. <laughs> I found that video of um, the tea commercial from um, quite a while ago on YouTube and I was just thrilled because I kept thinking I know I've heard this phrase before take tea and see and I was so excited when I found it I had to share it with you this is tea filling a cup not with indigestion not with nerves not with sleepless nights. This is tea. This is calm stomach, quiet nerves, deep sleep. This is tea. Steamy, hot, hearty, delicious, invigorating. The lift that leaves you with a nice, warm glow. So good... So good for you. Make it hefty, hot, and hearty. Take tea and see. But I did a scene um, uh, by the seaside of this beautiful woman and her ostrich companion having tea. Here's a tea tray resting on the back of this long-legged blue bird and uh, cupcakes falling from the cupcake tree and we have a sugar bowl here with the lid off and these plants are planted in the sugar bowl. So anyway, this is what we're going to be working on today. And I had a lot of fun creating this and um, the kit is up on my Etsy shop and this background is up on Linda Carroll Art Creative Community um, and it's for free on the creative community and then if you want to do a similar collage to mine there are two collage sheets up in my Etsy shop gatherer great things so I'll, I'll put a link below to all of these places where you can find these images. Um, so this is what we're going to be working on today. I hope you all are doing great and um, ready to create a new collage for today. I know I can't wait to jump in. Now this is, this is the first one I did to make sure all of my my uh, items were in the right size and perspective and and brightness and clarity and so on and so forth I did go in and add some red to this these flowers in the background because it they just looked kind of plain uh, sitting over here on this particular collage I'm going to go ahead and cut out all of my images. I did give you a few extra images in here um, in case you wanted to change up the collage. The seashells and this bird and these fish are not in the first collage that I did, but they might end up in the next one, so we'll see. So I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut these items out, and I'll be back really soon. See you in a minute.
Okay, I have my little bits and pieces and some bigger bits and pieces uh, cut out, fussy cut out, and um, I'm ready to start building a collage. I had a couple people try and guess what my theme was by the advertisement that uh, I put up on my Linda Carroll Art Community and on YouTube in the community page. And that was kind of fun reading what people thought I was going to do with the teacup and making tea and the phrase make tea and see. So as you can tell, I kind of did a play on words and I made it take T and C S E A and just had fun playing with images. I found this background and I thought it was kind of unusual and I really, really liked it. I love the colors. And then I started looking for images that would work on the background. And I kind of knew for some reason I wanted to do something about having tea by the sea. And I found this woman who really worked with the colors in this piece. She was, she was my first thing after I found the background that I wanted to work with, that I saw. And um, in this one, I placed her in the middle of the, of the image, of the background. And I think with this one, I'm going to put her over a little bit. Oops, I see a piece I forgot to cut out right here. Now for these little tiny areas like this, I do use my X-Acto knife with a sharp blade. And you just have to make sure that you're not cutting towards your fingers if you're... <clears throat> if you're doing a little tiny piece like this. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna play some more. I had a really good time playing with uh, these images. And when I was looking for um, just the right images to work with on here. So I've moved her over a little bit and I found um, I wanted some birds or animals in here. <laughs> I found this ostrich and I thought it was the funniest thing and I put the ostrich beside her. But when I was cutting out my images, I thought, what if I take the face that I used here and use the whole image and kind of changed the uh, girl, this girl into part girl and part ostrich. I mean, it looks like she has on the texture, it looks like she has on net stockings here. Um, and the coloring, I think I can work this dress right into these feathers here. I might cut it up a little bit further. Let's see what happens if we put this here. I think that would probably work a little bit better and then cut around my ostrich head here. Let's try that and see what happens. I still want to keep this, the outline of the feathers here.
Well, keep that head. You never know what we might do with it. <clears throat> and then... I think... I'm going to cut her right here under her arm and her fingers right here. Now when you're combining images like this, you, you know, you want to be kind of careful that it, if, I know it sounds ridiculous, but that the joining kind of makes sense and kind of looks like, you know, it's something that was, that was kind of planned. Okay, I really like that. So let's, let's work with this image here. Now she has her ostrich legs and her Ladies top and let's play with her a little bit. And she is by the sea. Okay. Let's see what else we can do here. And I found this boat. It was actually part of a postcard. Um and I knew I wanted to have a boat sailing on the sea over here. And those colors work really well with all of these colors. So I think we're in a good place here. See, we have this head. And this head could actually be coming up out of this greenery here, maybe. So that we have. And we have the tea tray. I love playing with these images to see what else I can, I can do with them. Let's see, we have the tea tray. And we have, this is the sugar bowl. And in this one, I have the sugar bowl down here at the bottom of the plant. And I actually kind of like the way that looks because I like the way the green down here in the sugar bowl is kind of carried up into this greenery up here in the top. So I have that. And in this one I have the lid just kind of laying down in front of the, let's scoot her over a little bit. I have the sugar bowl here and I could put the tea tray here and I did put a cupcake from the cupcake tree back here in the back um, I kind of centered it over this one but I can Put two cupcakes back there. If I wanted. Okay, we have the tea tray. We have our lady kind of looking a little bit forlorn here on the beach. And I have this great blue bird with these long legs. Let's see, could 
baby standing on the sugar bowl. Maybe. I think if I have him in front of her, it would be too confusing. So, I'm not going to do that. I really like her, though. Let's move her over a little bit more. Now, she could be leaning on the bird's head. Like that. That would work. Okay, and we could then put the tea tray up here. I like the way this fits right on the back of this bird. Okay, we still have our sugar, sugar bowl here. And then I have this lizard. And when I, on this one, I thought it would be neat to have him coming, flying down like this. And you know, we could do that. He could be climbing down these flowers. Now, cutting these out was a little bit tedious, but it was it was worth it. Okay, if he's perched up here on these flowers and heading for the tea tray, that kind of works. And I also have this bird, too. And he could be coming down to attack the lizard. Well, we've got an interesting story going on here. I kind of really like this head just kind of popping up out of this. Oh, he can pop right up out of the sugar bowl. How about that? <laughs> That's kind of fun. Okay, and then Here's the lid to the sugar bowl, and I just kind of had it leaning, uh, sitting down here on the ground in front of it. So that works. Okay, the snake probably is not going to work on her arm anywhere, but it could work on the bird leg here or here or it could work on her leg there okay we'll figure that one out in a minute Okay, I have some seashells that would make it look more as though we are on the seashore here. Just kind of, and I have, I have a couple of those just kind of hanging around here.
And I have these fish. And I don't think they're going to work in this one. Here's my other. My other seashell. You know, they could go there or they could go on these flowers to become flowers, too. I could print out another sheet of these and make this a shell plant, which, let's see what happens. That could be, that could be pretty interesting. Kind of like that. Okay, and we have this parrot. And he could be sitting down here with the ostrich, or he could be sitting here on the tray. And maybe that's what the lizard is after. Okay, I don't like this bird up here because it's getting confusing. Okay, I have cupcakes, and I really like the way this little stem kind of worked just hanging off of the tree here, and I liked, I liked this cupcake tree, and I liked the fact that these cupcakes were kind of falling off of the tree, so we could have cupcakes continuing to fall. Put one here. Raining cupcakes. And maybe cherries. Maybe. And I have my little mousey. And in this one, I have my little mouse down here at the bottom. Kind of blending into the sugar bowl. And I had a cherry that he was sitting beside. And I kind of like those cherries up there kind of falling out of the out of the sky off of this tree here. So, let's see if we just let that one kind of start to tumble a little bit. And I think need some more cherries. Let's see if I have any up here in my stash. I do. They're a little bit smaller, but that's okay. What do you think about these shells? You think they should stay down here? You know, I might change the color of that, um, these flowers. And Mousy could be kind of hiding down here behind the shell hey Claudine I don't want to not include your mousy here <laughs> and and I can have my the lid to my sugar bowl over here a little bit okay let's see here have this here and 
This one. You know, remember to overlap pieces when you're working on your collage to layer pieces because it will just continue to give your piece more depth. Okay, I've got my, what if we put the bird here now since we don't have the, I wish he was going the other way. You know, you can flip these in Photoshop or other graphics programs. If you see that they're facing the wrong way, you can just flip them horizontally. And I kind of like that. And we've got this kind of um, spiral thing going here, I think, which I like. What else do we have? Oh, I have my boat, and I really like my boat. Could the boat be flying on the back of the bird? Remember, this is kind of a surreal collage, so nothing really has to look real. It can look beyond real, you know, or maybe the boat's floating up here in the sky, which, which would work. Really have much else to work with. Oh, I have I have this little hat that I had on the ostrich, which I think needs to be there because he looks like he's looking up at the hat and wondering what in the world is on the top of my head. Like that. That that looks too good. So Is this too busy? What do you think? I don't think so. I think it's telling a story about having tea near the sea, by the sea. Take tea and see. I like the way she's leaning on his head. Uh, let's see about this snake. He may be making things too confusing down there. He could be wrapping around the ostrich neck. That's a possibility. I really like these legs, I think. That's why I really don't want to um, mess them up too much. Let's see, the parrot can be sitting on her hand. Could be sitting on her shoulder trying to catch a cupcake. Could be sitting on top of the ostrich head. Uh, I think he serves a purpose here of taking care of this space right here. You need to be there or here. I think there. I don't know, this snake is not making me very happy. Maybe the bird's carrying the snake. think of anything that is making me happier. We have our falling cupcakes. Yep, 
I kind of like that. And I like my boat. I really like my boat. Hmm. Be wearing the boat on her head. She could. Actually, <laughs> it kind of fits up there. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> well, we definitely have the circle going on that would keep you moving through through the page. So that's a good thing. Let me cut out a few of these cherries. Like I said they're a little bit smaller, but I think they'll work. So let's go ahead to use these. I love building these scenes. They're just too much fun. I think these cherries were from, um, I know they're from another kit, another uh, collage kit, but you know, you can change the size of your printout by just um, putting like two to a page or um, changing the percentage that you want to print the pages in the cat. So you can make things all different sizes. Raining cherries and cupcakes at the sea. You know, and you can see, you know, what else you have in your stash, or um, you might want to put uh, a tea set in here, tea service. Um, or a cup of tea. I can see this with a large cup of tea here. And um, T 
tea by the sea. Take T and C. <clears throat> I kind of like the way this cupcake is, is going to fall right into place here. That's pretty cool. How close should we get it? Okay, little bird. Where do you need to be? You can be there. Just not sure. I do like the way um, this bird is down here. And I don't really like the way I have it overlapping these flowers though so I might be able to to glue it down and then use my <clears throat> color pencils to let's see what we can do up there this works better I think it needs to look like his beak is around it. Maybe around its neck, maybe? No, it's got to be up here. Or its tail? That might work. So you'd have it by the thickest part. About right there. Snake be wrapped around this part of the flower, and the bird be taunting him. <clears throat> that might work. All right, let's get Mr. Lizard in here back in the action. I think I like him the best. I only have more of him, like he's going after that cupcake here. And we can put his tail here. I think I might have it. The only thing I'm not sure of is this hat on her. But when I take it away, I'm kind of missing that.
think I might need another um, another cupcake here. But I'm liking it. <laughs> I know. It's very weird and wonky. And it's very surreal. There's no way any of this scene could happen. Except for maybe the mouse hiding in the shell. <laughs> but for the rest of it, no. Not, not anything approaching reality whatsoever. So, you know, I use my distressing gather twigs to um, darken my edges so that none of this white is showing and I think it does make a difference in your in your collage I like that Okay. What I'm going to do is glue some of these things together first that belong together. Okay, so I'm going to glue the ship to her head right here. And then, just darken up these edges a little bit. Hope you all are having a great day. It, uh, it was sunny when I started this, but now it's raining. beach. It's been so humid. Unbelievably humid. Okay. And I want to put her right here. And what are you collaging? What are you working on? I think I started this one because I'm I'm working on images for my um, my next journal, and it's going to be by the sea. So. You know, that was on my mind when I started working on this piece. So, see, that just fits so perfectly there on his wing. Oh, I forgot to cut out this little piece over here. Oh, I have another cupcake. I think. Maybe not. No. That one goes with the tray. Now I know these little tiny details like in between his uh, claws seem tedious to cut out, but those little details really make a difference in your collages. You know, you can see that areas are layered. And that's so important, I think. around these edges
So let's go ahead and glue uh, this down, paste it down. And I'm just going to use my glue stick and make sure he's posed to jump on one of these cupcakes here. Okay. He looks creepy. Right. Let's get our ostrich head. In position. Okay. <clears throat> what fun was that? And I really, um, I really like the motion in this one of the of the uh, cherries and the cupcakes falling out of the tree. I think that um, it's you know it's it's pretty it's pretty dynamic. And then the ostrich popping up out of the sugar bowl. We have little mousy down here hiding behind the shell, being very inconspicuous. We have tea being served on the back of the bluebird. And then we have this lizard, giant lizard, coming over to snatch up a cupcake. And we mustn't forget our ostrich lady with the boat on her head. <laughs> can I say um, this is a lot of fun and I'm having a lot of fun doing these I, I hope you are too um, you know I might put a few more cherries uh, what do you think I think he needs to be there let's see here um, I might put a few more cherries falling from the tree up there in the sky and uh, but we'll see what happens and you know I really hope that you'll join our creative community um, there are free uh, downloads of images and collage sheets and the backgrounds are always for these this type of collage are always uh, free 
you just need to join the creative community it is a private community but you just need to join and then you can download uh, any of the freebies and also I'd love for you to uh, post your collages that you're doing to and how you're using these images you know um, they're fun images they're all uh, public domain images that I've curated and put together in our um, in our collage kits so that is that is it what fun was that um, this one is definitely not a, a simple one and I love both of them even though they're very very different I kind of really like this ostrich coming up out of this uh, sugar pot down here anyway I hope you all are having a great day or evening whichever the case may be if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel please do it uh, it really helps and a thumbs up would be appreciated uh, and ring that bell if you want to be notified when I have another uh, video posted I usually well I usually post magical Monday on Mondays but once I get started on a new journal um, I I'll do other things during the week so I wish you all many blessings and I hope to see you again soon have fun and play with these images they're what can I say they're really a lot of fun Bye for now.